Hi, I'm Jamelia Walcott with YKKAP America. This is our second year as the presenting sponsor for the AIA Atlanta High School Design Competition. It's been really interesting participating in this process and seeing the development of students from all over the state. We appreciate this opportunity to help inspire architecture in the future of the profession. I'm Sandy Cooper. I'm a principal with Collins Cooper Carusi Architects here in Atlanta. Uh, I'm thrilled to have been invited down to be a juror for this competition. Uh, it's the first time that I have done so for high school students. And to step back and take a look and see what some of these kids are thinking and their thought process and how they try and develop these ideas into something beautiful uh, is really kind of fun to be a part of. I'm Stanley Daniels, FAIA. My firm is Hova Daniels Busby, and I am now retired. I'm interested to be here because it's fascinating to see what these high stu school students can do and how they take advantage of the many tools that are available to them that were not available to us when we were at that same stage. I can remember spending the whole quarter drawing blocks of wood, and they're doing buildings. It's great. Hello, I'm a Stuart Rahm. I'm an architect, uh, one of the founders of Praxis 3 Architecture here, and also a uh, faculty member at the Georgia Tech College of Design. So as a teacher, it's really uh, gratifying, inspiring to me to see the sparks of imagination already being you know, cultivated at the high school level. These are really what I've seen so far, passionate designs of young students that just feel so strongly about what they want to bring to the world and make their environments. My name is Neil Isaiah Katangpanya. I am currently an architecture student at Kennesaw State University, and I'm a previous high school design competition winner, and I'm excited to be part of the jury this year. Participation in the competition has been extremely beneficial for me as an architecture student, for it has prepared me for the rigors of architecture school and has opened up many opportunities for me outside of school. Hi, I'm Adam Lamb. I'm with the Beck Group. I'm an architect there, and I've come to this uh, competition to serve and help um, the development of younger architects here in the state of Georgia. I'm Shelby Morris, an architect with the Beck Group, and I've been working with AIA for over 12 years and specifically with the high school design competition for about the last five. And one reason why I think it really inspires me to get involved with this competition in particular was a story from back when I was in high school. I had an architect mentor that would take me to lunch and introduce me to architecture. I think a little bit of giving back and that influence goes a long way. I'm Greg Mullen, uh, principal of PJAL and on the board of AIA Atlanta as treasurer. It is exciting to see all the creativity and, um, and use of technology in actually visualizing their projects. Hi, my name is Jeremy Smith. I am an architect at ASD Sky here in Atlanta. And uh, I'm excited to be here because I myself am pretty young in the field right now. Uh, but I got started doing a lot of these same types of projects myself when I was in high school and middle school and even elementary school. So the sooner kids can get started with architecture, the better. And so I'm really excited to see what the future holds for architecture. I know these kids are right behind me, so I'm trying to see what they're doing. I'm Preston Stevens, Jr. I really am proud to be an architect. Uh, after some of the projects that I've seen this morning, uh, these guys and gals uh, have, uh, are only in high school, but they've done a marvelous job, much, much better than I could have possibly thought anybody in high school could do. I can't believe it. If I was still in practice, just three or four hours would try to hire, and I believe some of the guys on my jury felt the same way. I'd have to fight them to, to hire these people. My name is Tony Rizzuto. I'm the chair of the architecture program at Kennesaw State University. Uh, I'm here as one of the judges for the high school design competition, a uh, program that I believe promotes architecture uh, and also, more importantly, perhaps better appreciation of good design. I'm John Busby, FAIA. What I find very interesting in these, this high school competition is beginning to see the innovations that young students are beginning to document in architectural forms. Uh, this program has been going on for several years, but it's very interesting and exploratory in the minds of these students how much the new technology has affected their 
inspiration as well as their concepts of architecture. Many times with architecture, it's just that one, you know, money shot that kind of sells the whole project to the whole team. And because of this image here, it made us want to look at the rest of the boards and understand really what happened here. But if it wasn't for this image, we may not even have looked at all the other <coughs> parts of the project. So. so it all comes together to be a very effective, comprehensive presentation. Very well thought out. Translation of a concept, a metaphor of turning pages that uh, turns into actually a very inhabitable and um, functional piece of architecture. It is a library with a twist, but literally a Mobius form that's represented by that white twisted piece of paper on the last board. And as you read through the description and the narrative of this project, they talk about not just design as an object, but design as an experience. And as one would walk along the path of that form to envision the changing in daylight and the change in views and the change in experiences appealed to us. Um, and we also thought that this would be a, a beautiful building uh, if it were to be built. It's truly a beautiful project, fairly complex. Somebody's clearly thought through the relationship of space. We seem to be impressed with presentation here today and having a hard time seeing through to the very essence and genius in some cases of the ones that are not well presented. And that's too bad, but that's just part of the game of being an architect. You go to an interview, you better have a good looking presentation. They went through very systematically with the, the location, with the bubble sketches, and the planning, the elevation views before actually coming to the final product here. They actually paid attention to the materiality as well, and even they used stone on the base to give it that heaviness, that sort of sense of support for this large cantilevering structure. So you can see how it actually would work if it was an actual pavilion they built. And the question is, how do you get that form to reflect the idea of the bird in flight? You can see how the organic form of the leaf, and it's very well described, is folded up and over to make the roof of the pavilion and to evoke, you know, the kind of nature, the extension of nature from the plaza into this garden space. So we just, you know, got very excited by how much feeling and passion there was from the student in this project. And it's interesting just seeing the inspiration coming from a chip that maybe the student had at lunch and was like, well, maybe this could actually be architecture. And so pulling from even the smallest things to create very complex architecture is a very intriguing idea and it really stood out to us as one of the, as one of the projects that stood out from all the rest. Good evening, my name is Richard Kramer and I'm president of the Atlanta chapter of the American Institute of Architects. And on behalf of the staff, our board members, and the membership in general, I want to say, we want to say, wow. The response that we've had for the high school design competition this year, now in its 12th year, was overwhelming. We received a record number of submissions, almost 140 from high school students around the state. Just phenomenal, just unbelievable. Let me take this moment to say thank you to the High School Design Competition Committee, the folks that set up the criteria and the guidelines that you've designed your projects around, whether it's the Performance Pavilion or the future of the library. They crafted the, that so that you could make your design specific for a site around the Atlanta area. And I also want to say thank you to our jury. Our jurors have been here the entire day looking at each submission, going through and evaluating uh, your designs on an individual basis. So thank you for their time and all their efforts. So on behalf of everyone, I want to say thank you. And lastly, thank you to the students, to each one of you for your effort and energy that you put into your designs and made this just, just phenomenal effort. I know from my heart, each one of you are a winner, but we'll see what the jury says. Good luck. <laughs>